Hi, my name is Fiona with Fiona's Hand Analysis Readings. And tonight I'm going to lead you in a meditation that will include grounding, running your energy, blowing roses, and bringing in giant golden suns. And this is just a meditation just to help you find your space to call back your energies from the day and to just give to yourself for the next 10 minutes. So let's just start. Just take a deep breath. Just pat your body. You can thank your body for getting you where you are right now. And just kind of thank it. It's like this vehicle that gets us around. And it's good to kind of take time and just thank it and give back to your body. So that's what we're kind of doing tonight. So let's start by sending a grounding cord from the base of your spine down to the center of the planet. And it could be an object, it could be a tree trunk, it could be a chain of uh, flowers, it could be a waterfall. And just make that connection from the base of your spine, your first chakra, your root chakra, down to the center of the planet. And just have it be on release. So just going to release any energy that does not belong to your space. Our bodies, our spaces run the best when we're running our own vibration rather than everyone else's energies. So let's just let go of that energy and you can see it as a color in your space. And just watch it kind of flush down, down your grounding gourd, down to the center of the planet, which is the big recycling zone of the earth. And you'll kind of notice when you start to ground, when you start to bring your energy back in your space, you'll kind of feel more present in your body. You might become aware of things that are going on in your body. You might start to feel more sensations. And just allow your body to just relax and release those energies. I even try practicing throwing like a like a bowling ball down my grounding cord. And then I might start, you know, whatever energies kind of light up, you know, like anyone that I talked to today or interacted with, I might see their energy in my space and just watch it go down the grounding cord. And just have it be on release so nothing can stick to your grounding cord. It's just this connection that goes from your base of your spine down to the center of the planet. And it's just letting you release all the energy that's not yours. And by doing this, you're actually sending the energy back to the people whose energy it is that you have in your space. So you're actually doing these people a favor by not taking on their energy. Okay. We're going to blow some roses, so this is a tool that I use if I am trying to um, kind of uh, get rid of some energy that's in my space. So we're going to start by creating a rose. The rose is a neutral symbol. And we're going to explode that rose, and you kind of see it kind of outside in your, screen, your reading screen, um, right out front. You don't want it to be in your space, you want it to be outside of your space. Um, so create a rose, be any color, and just blow it up. And when you when you blow it up in your mind, you want to make sure it completely disappears. You don't want there to be any leftovers of the rose or any ashes or anything like that. Just have it, you know, explode and it's completely gone. Another thing you can do is also, um, you can kind of see it as like a bubble or, you know, uh, and pop the bubble. So it could you could also do it that way. So we're going to put up a rose that represents different things and we're going to blow them up and that's going to kind of work the energy in your space that might be stuck or might be stagnant or that you might be carrying in your body unnecessarily. So let's create a rose just for family energy and you can look at it, maybe see the color, is it wilted? Are the leaves brown? Is it bright green? Is it blue? Is it orange, purple? 
and just have no judgment. Just look at it in neutrality and you can blow that rose up. Alright, let's, uh, let's create a rose for responsibility. Just a vibration of responsibility. Uh, what do you see in that rose? For me, it's kind of like a white, a whitish gray rose, and it's, um, the energy looks really, just like it's, it's in constant motion, like it's kind of this anxious energy. So just look at your rose, of what responsibility is lighting up. What does the rose look like for that? And then you can blow it up. Let's put up a rose for guilt. Okay, and just, just look at the rose. You don't have to, does it have to be a certain color or look a certain way? Just what, what comes up, what shows up um, when you look at the energy of guilt in your space? Okay, for me I see like a tarry brown color. It's very heavy energy. Okay, so let's explode that rose. All right, let's do one more. Uh, let's put up a rose for the energy of... It's like uh, impatience. Yeah, no judgment, just what is that rose? What is it showing you? For me, I see like this electricity kind of pulsating through the rose. Um, it's like in a yellow-white color. So we're gonna explode that rose. Now we're gonna call back our energy in a giant golden sun. So we just kind of released a lot of energy by blowing up those roses, um, letting go of energy in our space and also grounding. So let's call back our energy. So let's create a giant golden rose, or sorry, <laughs> let's create a giant golden sun above our head with a magnet in the middle. We're gonna call back all our energy from everywhere we left it. So if you went shopping or you're driving or you're talking to someone, um, thinking about someone on the computer, interacting with people online, telepathically, in person, you probably left your energy in a lot of different places. So call back your energy. Just postulate that the sun, the magnet in the center is um, attracting all the energy back from wherever you left it. So just postulate that the magnet in the middle of the sun is attracting all the energy, all your energy back from wherever you left it. And you can rub your hands together. And bring in that giant golden sun when it's ready, when it's nice and full. Just bring it down to your space. This is like replenishing your space. You're like Refilling your chakras, calling back your energy, giving to yourself. <sighs> and you can never bring in too many golden suns. So you can create another golden sun with a magnet in the center and just have it call back all your energy from wherever you left it. And just bring it down into your space. Okay, so we're going to start running Earth and Cosmic Energies. So this is a good way to just run your own vibration, kick out any foreign energy. You'll notice if, you, if, you have, if you're having a crappy day, it's usually because you're running someone else's energy. Or you've become the product of someone else's uh, energy or energies. So the best way to kind of return to your own vibration and to feel, you know, to feel really good and grounded is to run your own energy, run your own vibration. So we'll start by kind of rubbing our feet on the ground. You can open and close your feet chakras. And we're going to find a source of earth energy, not from the center of the planet, but close to the center of the planet. Somewhere that's uh, a clean source, that's a healing um, earth energy and we're just going to postulate just bring up that energy up your leg channels up into your first chakra and just have it overflow in your first chakra and then have it go down your grounding cord so we're creating this powerful loop 
And you can experiment with speeding that energy up, slowing it down, changing the colors. Right now I'm using a bright red color, so almost like a lava color. And just postulate that it's clearing out all foreign energy, any wax, any energy that people might have thrown at you, any tears in your aura. Just kicking out any cords or anything that just isn't in alignment with your highest vibration. And you can make that a healing source, healing earth energy that's coming up your light channels. Alright, then we're going to send a rose off to the edge of the universe for our cosmic energy. And you can have that energy come down your crown. I usually like to have it clean up the creative channels right above your seventh chakra. So there's three rings above your seventh and it can just kind of, you know, repair any tears or crocks before it comes down and then have it come down your seventh, down your sixth, and it's just spinning each chakra as it's going down, down your fifth, and then as it goes down your back channels, it's kind of going down in two channels on each side. Down your fifth, your fourth, your third, your second, and then I actually have it go down my grounding cord, down your first, down your grounding cord to clear out, just really clear out that grounding cord. Okay, then when you're ready, you can take 10% earth, 90% cosmic energy, or whatever ratio works best for your space. And mix those two energies together, and you're gonna bring up that new vibration up your front channel. So, and just have it spin each chakra as it goes up. So, up your first, your second, your third, and just clearing out any cords, any foreign energy, any energy that's not yours. Your fourth, up your fifth, at your fifth, it's gonna go down three directions. So, a third down each um, creative channel, your arm channels, and then a third up your fifth, up your sixth. And then fountaining out your seventh, and just have it clean all layers of your aura. Just have it fountain out. <sighs> and you could keep running your energy at this point. Um, you can experiment with the colors, changing the speed. And I'd say it's probably good to burn your energy about 30 minutes a day if you can. It really makes a difference. Because when you're running your energy, you're in your happy, you're in your happy, when you're running, <laughs> when you're running your energy, you're in your happy place. Nothing can bring you down. Nothing can really do anything. You're in your happy zone. You're less likely to become the product of your circumstances or to match the vibration of other people. So at this point, you can bring in some giant golden sun, so call back your energy. Magnet in the center of a sun, golden sun, call back your energy from wherever you left it. And just bring in that golden sun down into your space. Okay, and then towards the end of the meditation, you can create a mock-up or like a goal, an intention of how you want to, you know, it could be anything. So let's put up a rose for our mock-up and just see it as a color. So I'm seeing like an emerald green color and just wait for the information to kind of come to you. What does it represent? And you can look at that energy. So I'm seeing green, my mock-up is green. It's an emerald green color. I surround my female creative energy. To use it to use that energy to heal my space. So you can just you know kind of create a rose and just look at the energy. What is your mock-up? What do you want to create? You could, you know. Mako could be that you want to give to yourself more, you want to run your energy throughout your space, 
um, you want to ask for a raise at work or you want to create um, a new relationship um, you want a higher paying job you want more clients whatever it is you can just kind of look at that in a rose and so you can actually create a golden sun over your mock-up rose and bring that giant golden sun into the rose just postulate it and then when it's ready we're going to ground that rose so we're going to put a grounding cord on that rose then you're going to when it's ready you're going to cut the stem and send it off to the universe so that it can be manifested and then just call back your energy giant golden sun with a magnet calling back all your energy and bringing that energy down into your space okay so my name is Fiona and hope you enjoyed that meditation um, and stay tuned for more meditations and psychic tools and other hand analysis stuff. Alright, see you next time. Bye.